to the 209th commencement of Tarleton State University, this is a magnificent day for the university as these graduates join the ranks of distinguished Tarleton alumni. To open this ceremony, the colors will be presented by the Texan Battalion Color Guard. The national anthem will be sung by senior music major, Ms. Channing Parker. She will be accompanied by the Tarleton Wind Ensemble under the direction of Dr. Anthony Purcell. Following the national anthem, the invocation will be given by Dr. Laura Boren, Vice President for the Division of Student Life. Gentlemen, please remove your caps, and I ask all who are able to please stand and remain standing for the posting of the colors, the singing of the national anthem, and the invocation. Please join me for the invocation. On this commencement day, while we have traveled different paths to reach this milestone, today we are of one mind and one heart in giving thanks for these students and for all they will accomplish. As we reflect on all that is past and all that is yet to come, we are mindful of the many people to whom we owe thanks. Families that encouraged education, teachers and mentors who shared their knowledge and experience, friends who provided support and helped make a lifetime of memories. 
We ask that these graduates reflect the core values of this university as they use their knowledge and abilities to act with integrity, standing up for what is right, to serve and lead others with compassion, to foster a culture of civility, kindness, and inclusion, to respect and shape traditions of our time, to set a standard of excellence and strive always to reach it. May the gratitude we feel today inspire each of us to bring even greater joy into our lives and the lives of others. Amen. Please be seated. <clears throat> well, congratulations, graduates. This is a glorious day as we celebrate your achievements. And today, you earn a new title. Carlton alumni. You join the ranks of educated men and women who are using their Tarleton education to advance knowledge and to solve problems, to lead innovation and to initiate change, to reach out to others and to improve lives. We will be watching with great pride and great interest as you embark on your journey as Tarleton alums. You know that summer is not the season traditionally associated with graduations. In fact, in, in popular music videos, summer is a time for some, uh, sun and sand, for drifting down a river, or cruising the back roads with your top down. But I expect for most of you, the music version of this summer was seldom seen. Your summer has been filled with classes, work, internships, maybe some travel abroad to gain new perspectives. Members of this class have learned a great deal beyond the classroom, the studio, and the laboratories. Joel Munoz performed many, many hours of service on a study abroad trip to the Dominican Republic. Joel came to the United States from Mexico when he was only three months old. With encouragement from his parents, Joel has worked his way through college and like many others in this class, he is the first in his family to earn a degree. His sister is a sophomore here at Tarleton, and so she'll be the second to earn a Tarleton degree in several years. Staff Sergeant Eric Corrin is an active duty member of the United States Army. Today, he is receiving his bachelor's degree in information technology. Eric has been in the military for 15 years, making him maybe just a bit older than some of the graduates. Eric, thank you for your service. <clears throat> One member of this class has waited much longer to finish her degree. She started college in 1963 and transferred to Tarleton in 1967. Now, if you add that up, that's 49 years ago that she started at Tarleton. Barbara Anderson put her college on hold as she got married and started a family. After retiring the fourth time, she decided to visit our Tarleton Waco campus to see about finishing her bachelor's degree. And then this remarkable 71-year-old certainly serves as an inspiration to all of us, and we proudly, proudly welcome Barbara to the Tarleton alumni family. Congratulations, Barbara. Mm -hmm. Now, I expect in the rush to finish your college degree this summer, some of you may have missed a few things, like season six of the Game of Thrones. <laughs> Some new movies with old heroes like Tarzan, Captain America, the Ghostbusters, Captain Kirk, and here recently, Jason Bourne. Some classic game shows returned to TV, The $100,000 Pyramid, Family Feud, and Match Game. And who would ever thought the po that Pokemon would be back, huh? <laughs> but whether old or new, you take with you many memories of your time at Tarleton. You enter the next chapter of your life armed with a Tarleton degree, lifelong relationships and friendships, and a set of core values that will serve you well. The core values remind us that character matters. To live with integrity, to lead with courage, to value traditions, seek excellence, and choose greatness. 
respect others and act with civility, and certainly serve others and be the difference. These are the foundations of a life well lived. They are guideposts as you travel through the challenges and the opportunities ahead of you. And I know that you will make us very, very proud to call you a Tarleton Texan. I ask that you remember that no one gets to this graduation day alone. The support of family, friends, coworkers, and classmates is a vital part of your success. This day belongs to all families and all friends, and we congratulate all of you in the audience today. And to recognize you, we'd like to have you stand, and graduates, would you please give them a great round of applause and thank you for what they've done. Family, friends, please stand. Graduates, get up and thank them. <laughs> Let's hear it. <laughs> thank you. At this time, I would like to recognize members of the platform group. When, would they please stand when introduced, and will you please hold your applause until all are standing? Dr. Karen Murray, Provost and Executive Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Laura Boren, Vice President for Student Life. Dr. Ty Minkler, Vice President for Finance and Administration. Ms. Sabra Guerra, Assistant Vice President for Advancement and External Relations. Ms. Janice Horrock, Assistant Vice President for Development. Dr. Steve Steed, Dean College of Business Administration. Dr. James Pierce, Dean College of Sciences and Technology. Dr. Barry Lambert, Dean of Graduate Studies. Dr. Steve Damron, Dean College of Agricultural and Environmental Sciences. Dr. Jordan Barkley, Dean College of Education. Dean Kelly Styron, Dean College of Liberal and Fine Arts. Dr. Javier Garza, Assistant Vice President for Enrollment Management. Dr. Keith Emmerich, Faculty Senate President-Elect. Mr. Caleb Chapman, Staff Council Representative and Ms. Donna Stromeyer, Chair of the Commencement Committee. Please join me in thanking and recognizing these outstanding Tarleton leaders. As was explained before the processional, some graduates are wearing colorful cords that represent high achievement and academic honors. Some graduates are wearing red, white, and blue cords representing achievement in honor of a different sort. They are veterans who we recognize today for their service to our nation. It is their sacrifice and that of their families that allows us to freely pursue life, liberty, happiness, and our education. So I would like to ask all veterans and active or reserve duty personnel in the class or in the audience, if you would please stand so we can thank you for your service. Please stand. Since 1917, Tarleton has been a very proud member of the Texas A&M University system. Next year, we will be celebrating 100 years as a partner with 10 universities, seven state agencies, two service units, and a health science center that together comprise the Texas A&M University system. To bring greetings to our graduates on behalf of the Board of Regents, the Chancellor, and our system colleagues is the Executive Vice Chancellor and Chief Financial Officer, Mr. Billy Hamilton. He is responsible for the system office with direct oversight for all A&M system departments. As CFO, he provides close attention to the management of financial operations. Mr. Hamilton has a distinguished public service career in fiscal policy and management. Please welcome Executive Vice Chancellor Billy Hamilton. Well, President Dottavio, distinguished guests, members of the Tarleton State University class of 2016, family and friends who are here to make this and who made this occasion possible. On behalf of Chancellor John Sharp and the entire Texas A&M University system, I'm pleased to join you for this celebration. This is always one of the best times of the year for us when we can travel to these graduations because they're always such joyous events. 
Today is another special day, graduates, as you prepare to walk across the stage and into the next chapter of your lives. I may not know what the future holds for you, but I do know that you'll be well prepared for what lies ahead thanks to this university. Each of you should be proud of what you've accomplished. We certainly are. And we have great hope for the future when we see the products that are coming out of these systems uh, with the education, the background, the energy, the enthusiasm, and the will to succeed. Now on behalf of the Chancellor of the A&M system, and by the authority of the Texas A&M University System Board of Regents, it's my sincere pleasure to authorize President Dottavio to confer the respective academic degrees for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. I wish you only the best in your future, and I hope there'll be many, many more happy days like today. Thank you. Thank you, Executive Vice Pre Chancellor Hamilton. We appreciate your visit this weekend to participate in this important occasion. Graduates, this is your day. It is you we are here to celebrate. For this reason, a member of the graduating class has been invited to address the commencement audience. Today's speaker is Tam Tamara McElroy of China Spring, Texas. She is the daughter of Warren and Laverta Johnson from Antlers, Oklahoma. She has earned her degree in accounting and is preparing for a new career. Some of you may think that the career you are embarking upon is it for life, but when you hear Tamara's story, you will realize that as you and your circumstances change, so too do opportunities and objectives. After Tamara's earned a degree from Northeastern State University in Oklahoma, after teaching fifth and sixth grade math and science for seven years, after she and her husband Damon had two wonderful sons, Tamara enrolled in Tarleton's College of Business Administration. She received a Texas Society of Certified Public Accountants Scholarship. She is a member of Phi Theta Kappa, Gamma Beta Phi, and the Tarleton Accounting Society. Currently, she is studying for the Certified Public Accountant License Exam and has a position awaiting for her in an accounting firm in Waco. While keeping up with her studies, Tamara enjoys time with her busy family, fishing and playing basketball. Tamara is hardworking and goal-directed, focused and fun. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Tamara McElroy to the podium. Good afternoon, President Dottavio, Provost Murray, stage party, esteemed faculty, family, and fellow students. As I stand here before you today, I realize that this is the start of a new and exciting chapter in our lives. Three years ago, I was blessed with the opportunity to teach fifth and sixth grade math and science to students in the Waco community. While I enjoyed teaching, I wanted to pursue a new career in accounting. Fortunately for me, the collaboration between Tarleton State University and McLennan Community College afforded me the opportunity to attend class locally and obtain my Bachelor's of Business Administration degree in accounting. Curtis Atchley, who is the primary accounting professor who one of the many, um, sorry, excuse me, who is the primary accounting professor at the Tarleton Waco campus is one of many professors who exemplify the Tarleton spirit and works diligently to help students not only to graduate, but to secure positions in their community. Thanks to the hard work and dedication of Tarleton professors, I feel prepared for the next chapter in my life. As an educator, I encourage students to pursue their dreams. I taught them accountability and responsibility, which are two life lessons that would benefit them in the future and that I apply in my own life. These life lessons can best be summarized or identified by words spoken by the following Congressional Medal of Honor recipients. First Lieutenant James Allen Taylor of the U.S. Army shared a piece of advice that had been passed down by his father. 
You will encounter many high and low points throughout your lifetime and hundreds of obstacles. But do not be afraid to make or admit a mistake. Turn a negative into a positive, challenge a challenge, and never say you cannot do something. Think about what you have done, right or wrong, improve or correct it, and move on to the next challenge. Through positive thinking, hard work, dedication, and sacrifice, you can succeed. Private William J. Crawford of the U.S. Army shared a poem that is the embodiment of giving an endeavor your best. If you can't be a pine on the top of the hill, be a scrub in the valley, but be the best little scrub by the side of the hill. We can't all be captains, we've got to be the crew. There's something for all of us here. There's big work to do and there's lesser to do and the task we must do is near. If you can't be a highway, then just be a trail. If you can't be the sun, be a star. It isn't by size that you win or you fail. Be the best of whatever you are. As graduates, we have had the privilege of learning from knowledgeable instructors who have encouraged us and helped us throughout our education. We have faced many challenges in and out of the classrooms. Now we are about to embark on the next segment of our journey. As we begin this new journey, remember these pieces of advice that were spoken by the two Congressional Medal of Honor recipients. As I contemplate the words of advice, this is what their words mean to me. Mistakes will be made. They are part of the learning process. Acknowledge the mistake and find a solution. When faced with a negative situation, choose to rise above the negativity and turn the situation around. When faced with a challenge, do not falter. Develop a strategy and implement it with determination. Accept responsibility for your decisions, good or bad. When you commit to an endeavor, give it everything you have. Remember that nothing worthwhile comes without hard work and perseverance. The future holds many new and challenging obstacles for us. How we hand handle these obstacles will depend on our resolve and character. Ultimately, how we face adversity will define us and our legacy. Congratulations, graduating class of 2016, and good luck. Thank you, Tamara, for your remarks. You have represented this graduating class very well. At the heart of a Tarleton education is our distinguished faculty. Their scholarly work creates new knowledge that improves the lives of all of us. As teachers and scholars, they define Tarleton's excellence. The faculty have been partners with these graduates as teachers and mentors, challenging and supporting these students as they come toward this day. From the Texan tour leaders who gave you your very first glimpse of this campus, to the grounds crews that keep it looking so beautiful, and the team that organized these three graduations, hundreds of Tarleton staff members have made Tarleton a home away from home and helped you reach this day. Like your family and friends in the audience, our faculty and staff members take great pride in your graduation. They have devoted their professional careers to preparing you for success in your careers and in your communities. Will the representatives of the faculty and staff please stand so that we may recognize your work. And now we're to the most important part of the ceremony, the presentation of your degrees. I'd like to welcome to the podium Dean Steed and Dean Pierce to present and recommend the candidates for the associate and baccalaureate degrees. Will the candidates for the baccalaureate degrees from the College of Business Administration please rise? Provost Murray, the faculty and I are proud to certify that these candidates have met all college and university requirements for their degrees, for their respective degrees. They've demonstrated that they have the moral character, the work ethic, and the requisite skills to become successful leaders in their chosen careers and in their personal lives. We are confident 
that they are prepared to bring honor to themselves, to their families, and to their alma mater. Congratulations, candidates, and please be seated. Will the candidates for graduation with the associate and bachelor's degrees from the College of Science and Technology please rise? Provost Murray. Carl Sagan said that science is based on experiment and on a willingness to change old dogma and on an openness to see the universe as it really is. And then Louis Pasteur said that science and its applications are related to one another as the fruit is related to the tree that has borne it. Today's graduates from the College of Science and Technology span the spectrum of the natural and applied sciences. While some will pursue careers planting the seeds of scientific discovery, others will endeavor to harvest the technological fruit. These are the scientists, mathematicians, teachers, technologists, nurses, engineers, social workers, and other leaders of the future. These graduates are prepared to be innovative thinkers and problem solvers who will meet the challenges in the areas of the natural sciences, the health sciences, and engineering. They will create change and help us adapt to it while holding fast to our principles and values. I'm extremely proud to present these candidates for graduation from the College of Science and Technology. On behalf of the College of Science and Technology faculty, I certify that they have met all the requirements for their respective degrees. Please remain standing. Will all the candidates for graduation please stand? President Dottavio, these students are candidates for the associate and baccalaureate degrees as prescribed by the faculty of Tarleton State University and the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University System. As Chief Academic Officer, I present them to you with both personal pleasure and Tarleton pride. Graduates, by the authority vested in me as president of Tarleton State University, I confer the associate and bachelor degrees upon those of you who have successfully met all requirements associated with those degrees. You now hold all honors, rights, and privileges belonging thereto. I charge you as educated women and men of the world to use your education in the service of others. Congratulations, graduates. You now may be seated and would the student marshals please bring the graduates forward to receive their diplomas.